Hey Peninsula, how you doing today? It's been 10 years since I visited the Tell located at the city of Lachish. It's in the Shvela, it's in that hill country between the, the upper mountains of Judah and the plain of the Philistines or down at the plain where Tel Aviv is today. Um, but it's a fascinating place to visit because there you can tell and retell the story of the account where the Assyrians come and want to besiege Jerusalem. The kingdom is split in half many years ago. The Assyria has come now at this point in history and destroyed the northern kingdom of Israel. And they're working anywhere down. They're destroying everything that they come across. And they come to Lachish. And as they come down to Lachish, the next city up on the hill is going to be Jerusalem. So if Lachish falls, eh, Jerusalem might fall next. And so there's a battle that takes place at Lachish. And the Assyrians come, and, and Hezekiah sees this, who's king, and he's just like, what are, what are we going to do? Jerusalem's in danger. And so what he does is he prepares his city for a future attack. He builds a tunnel to supply water to those living inside the city, Hezekiah's tunnel. He repents. He tears down the high places that they had built in Jerusalem. And then he waits on God. He, he, he really tries to see and do what God wants him to do. So I really encourage you to read 2 Kings chapter 17, 18, and 19. And it's a fascinating account of this dialogue between, between Sennacherib and uh, Hezekiah and the history going on there. But they do. They destroy. The Assyrians destroy uh, Lachish. Uh, it was such a significant destruction that uh, he made a bas relief when he finally got back to Nineveh, to his capital. Um, and that re bas relief is in um, the Israel, not the Israel Museum, it's in uh, the British Museum today in London. So uh, you, can, you can check that out there. It's an amazing thing. So he destroys Lachish and he gets up to Jerusalem. And then the account says the climax is the angel of the Lord went out and put to death 185,000 men in the Assyrian camp. He wiped them out. So Sennacherib puts his tail between his legs and runs back home, makes his bas relief, talks about his conquest, but he didn't capture Jerusalem. God wasn't ready for that to happen yet. But what's interesting is when they dug up in Lachish, they discovered Hebrew homes and Baal worshiping homes. When God finally said, enough of the shedding of innocent blood, you Judahites, I'm going to judge the culture. And when he judged the culture, the believing people, the people of faith in Lachish, were killed right alongside those who were disobedient. You cannot say the culture is bad, but I am pure. You've got to engage the culture. Because when God judges a culture, he judges it all. Read the account. It's fascinating. Have a good day.